viewers. Um, here I have a, a TV been brought in for diagnosis repair. It's a Philips flat screen. Um, not really sure what the fault is, except for they said that the light flashes when we put it in. So we're just going to plug it in. There we go. Ah, see the light, yeah. Okay. I suspect it's probably a power board failure by the looks of it. It's got the sign to it, I think. I'm going to see if we can switch it on. No, don't want to know. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Totally dead. No sign at all. Hmm, let's have a look at what model it is. Hmm. It's a Philips model 20PF412-05. Hmm, made in Poland. That sounds good. Okay, well, we'll have a look. I'll whip the cover off and see what's going on. And um, we'll uh, go from there. Okay, so I've got the back off. I'm looking at the back. It doesn't look too bad. A little bit dusty. Um, well, what can be said about this? You uh, don't get a lot for your money, do you? Very little. Uh, obviously you've obviously got your speakers and that's your main driver board there. Uh, and that one there. Now then, I suspect the culprit lies in here. Oh yeah. Oh, I wonder if you can see it. I've just seen it straight away. Now then. If I just highlight it up for you. But I think that's the problem there. Now, let me just get a torch. Find a torch. Okay. No torch. Someone's, someone's taking my torch. Okay. All right. If we come back to here, I think you can see that that cap there looks like it's faulty. That one's blown too. Doesn't look good. And that one's bulging. And that little one there is bulging down. I think what we're going to do. I can't see any other forks anywhere else. I'm like looking at these caps here. They're not too bad. And this is the main driver board. And I think what's it got in it? Um, yeah, you've got AV and your DVI. Our aerial input. Unfortunately, you can't use normal terrestrial anymore on that in here. Analog's now gone. Well, but you can get a converter. Um, we're going to try and change these and see what we get. Hopefully I might be a little bit lucky. I'm sure I can salvage a, a couple of caps from somewhere. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, alright. Now we've all the capacitors been changed and the 41 has been changed which would be this one here that one there that one there and that one there I'll just quickly show you the state of this one see it's bulging in the cap I'll pick out the other one well, it's not easy to see the caps are bulging. Um, this one is quite a bad one too. You see, it's just raised in the top. And this one had some stuff coming out of it. I don't know. The internals are coming out of it. But anyway, so they've all been changed. They're a thousand UF at 25 volts. Two of them, a 680 UF microfarad at. 25, it did say 10, but you can substitute a 25. 
and then a 220 at 25 volt um, right so we're good to go now I'll get this all put in okay just a quick look show the board's in place there she is there's your caps all fixed in just wire it up and main supply to your main board which is the tuner tuner section and then you also got that one there that's the LCD backlight display driver and this one here also runs the front panel displays and that's another backlight display that's another backlight and these ones run off to this section over here okay let's give it a go and see what happens okay well here we are ready to give it a little touch on let's see if it works i'm just going to plug it in then okay plug it in down there switch it on see what happens Hey, excellent, green lights on. Whee! Oh, that's a good start. Oh. Let's see what we're going to do. We've got the menu button. There's a menu. There's a menu. So, I'll try and work out a uh, light seat. Mm hmm. That's that. Not TV. Not should really put an arrow into it, but this is not part of the test. The test that it is working on. And I suppose the other ultimate test is the power button. Alright, right. yeah, will it turn back on? Very light nice came back on. Looks good to me. Check the remote works, is it? Don't know if they work or not. Yeah. I think all in all, very successful. Power off. Standby. Ah. Check the power back on. Fantastic. There you go, just a simple job. You change a few capacitors and keep an old TV going. Thank you for watching.